Hello everyone, I am Pyro Falcon, joined by the Akamura. Hi! There's a loud noise outside, and we are playing Earthbound! In the last episode, we finished our business in Saturn Valley, came back to 3, tried to get to 4 side, we got hit with the world's longest traffic jam, and the bus driver just left us in the middle of this desert. So, hooray, we have to hoof it, because we have to hoof it. So... He took the air conditioning with him. Yeah, so we're going to have to trudge through the sands here, which is going to be unpleasant. Oh, there's this guy. Uh, he might have some upgrades for... No, he doesn't. All right, never mind. All right, bye, sir. Wait, he's running from me? He never ran from me in my side file. All right, whatever. Okay, so... Oh, here's it's a monkey. monkey. Cuckoo, 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 cuckoo. Welcome. Our paradise exists beneath that hole. Talirama is a great is great and kind, and he knows everything Talirama does. He made us the underground rooms. Okay, we're gonna deal with that much, much later. Right now it's fine. Um, so this is one of the most dangerous areas of the game when you factor in your level. Um It can get a little rough, so I'm gonna try to take a weird route here. Oh jeez. This is the one that will destroy you. Um, it's a sphere with a smile. He's the smiling sphere. How's it going? Yeah. Um, this is the biggest threat that's out here in the desert. Not because of his normal attacks, but this. He'll explode when he dies and damages everyone. Now, you can usually get through the fight quickly enough because of the rolling hit point meter to survive it. But when he's with others, then he's such a pain in the ass to- oh, god. All right, they don't... Oh, no, that one's engaging. All right, I may as well attack. I mean, if we're gonna have to fight, I may as well do it on my terms. This is a crested buka. Wow. Yeah, he's... An off-brand birdo. Yes, that is accurate. An off-brand birdo. Um, okay, so see the little black dot? Mm -hmm. Th this little story actually kind of touches me for whatever reason, so if you... Check it. Why would you feel like talking to a tiny black sesame seed like me? I want to apologize to the white sesame seed that I heard before. If I could just see her. What? Really? Can we get away from this guy at all? I'm, I'm calling Child Protective Services. This is just... I don't like being stalked and having my picture taken. And I'm all sweaty, so I don't even look good. You're glistening. What a jerk. What a jerk. We sleep in the desert, so we're often mistaken for corpses. But a corpse doesn't usually wear a bathing suit, right? Hey, stop staring at my tan lines. Annoying kids, what a group of brats. Scat, you little monsters. There's a lot of weird shit here in the, uh... Here in the desert. Um, okay, the UFO's a pain in the ass, too. Oh, see those little stars next to Pyro's and Soul's names? Mm hmm So, when you're in the desert and you're sweating, you have a chance of getting sunstroke. Ooh. So they both have sunstroke right now. Um, that's easy enough to counter, which is why I'm not too worried about it. You just need to life up Alpha. Um, but it's just this constant annoyance for, uh that you're having to deal with in the desert here. So the safest way you get through the desert is sticking as close to the rocks as you can. You can also get a present while you're down here, but uh, the reason we're here is- Oh, there's th the white sesame. Yep, there's the white sesame seed. I heard that the black sesame seed I used to love is somewhere in the desert. If you see him, please tell him I still love him. Really, you've seen him already? Was he okay? Hmm, I see. So, oh God. So, now we're going to return to the black one. We don't get any... Aw, uh, who's a cutie? Yeah, he's drooling. Um, he does poison attacks, too. So we need too. some water. Yep. Ow. I'm glad I didn't wind up selling that serum uh, that Aww, I've still soul, got in my pocket. He gave soul rabies. <laughs> he did. He gave soul rabies. Yeah, the desert is a pain in the ass. Circle, All right. circle, dot, dot. Now you got your rabies shot. Uh... I don't think that's the way it works, the Akamura. And you're afraid of water. All right. Ah, jeez! Puppies! Why? Why all the dogs? 
All right. Just don't bite Soul. Yeah, you can bite Mark. That's fine. Um, well... Damn, doing oh, Mark dirty. never mind. I was gonna say I was gonna grab the large pizza, but... I didn't think we'd clear the fight that quick. All right. This is actually... I'm doing slightly better than I did the last time. Um, Squirps. Yeah, I'm I'm taking a risk oh, by even smiley squirps. They are. I'm I'm taking a risk by even engaging these guys. What I should be doing is just trying to avoid the fights as much as possible. But I don't know. Maybe it's an experience thing or a pride thing or whatever. Um because they're not giving a lot of experience points for how difficult they are. Oh, here's a an oasis. We've got a skip sandwich deluxe. Oh, another monkey. As sea monkeys live in the sea, desert monkeys live in the desert. I mean desert, not desert. I am happy that there are animals in the desert, aren't you? Yeah, sure. Except seeing for the smiling sphere and the UFO. Ass. What? <laughs> so seeing as they're beating my ass, does that yeah. UFO have a little ball? It does. She's a healer. We have to take her out first. And I say her because since she has a bow obviously it's a girl because that's the way 90s UFO. video games work what she's a cute little ufo does that mean yes. all the mr saturns are ladies sure i'm i am okay with this Boing. all right uh okay there's our black seed why would you feel like yeah 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 okay what the white sesame still seed still loves me weep weep Oh, it's so cute. That's as Aww. little tiny baby Pyro, I desperately wanted to unite the sesame seeds. Can you? Nope. D it's just, that's it. And I don't know why, and I don't know what the purpose is. You get no reward. It gives you nothing. It's just a little tiny in-game storytelling. Oh, are you not going to talk to her again? Oh, I can. She'll just repeat herself. Um, yep. Really? You've seen him already? Was he okay? Hmm, I see. Although there might be a little... <sighs> there might be a little bit of sorrow to it, because she says the black sesame seed I used to love, and the black sesame seed says he still loves the white sesame seed. So... Oh, wait, she does say she still loves him. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what that is. I would... I would love to sit down with the developer and ask what that was about. Even if the answer is, I don't know, disappointing. Oh, we should buy oh, the God. book and have a look at the... E yes. Even if the answer is a little disappointing, like they just they just did it for fun, you know, I would still like to hear the reasoning behind yes. that particular story. Because it seems like such a random thing, especially since you don't get any rewards for it. So there are a couple other things in the desert we can go for, but... There's nothing we need at the moment. The main reason we're here is to talk to the guy who we just saw outside. I don't know if you noticed him. I did. Um, but he's the one we need to chat with because he's got... He's important. Semi, he's semi-important. This hole's great. Good hole, good hole, good hole. Ugh, first, someone asked me to dig for buried gold. I began to feel I was obligated to find it. Man, am I starving. Do you have any food you can spare? Yes. Like you have a lot of stuff. What are you gonna give me? You can have the shitty hamburger I just picked up from the desert. Thank you. If I find the gold, I'll give it to you. I'm still hard at work digging and digging. Hey, wait a second. I don't know what the hey wait a second a second is supposed to be, but yeah. So we have to give him food, and then we're done. Like that was the last thing we had to do in the desert. Um, it's a boofalant. Uh, and then when we get to the tunnel, look at that. No more, uh... No more traffic. No more traffic. So I'm going to use the Skip Sandwich Deluxe because I believe there's a present along the road. And this way I don't have to take a year and a half to walk. There's also a shop or something out here. Oh, yeah, these guys. I'm a broken slot machine, but the Sanchez brothers and their friend are a very cheerful trio. They will make you happy. Would you like to insert a buck? Yes. Great. We lost. Oh. I think we, uh, I can't remember what the top prize is, but it's not all that good. It's just some random-ass casino in the middle of nowhere. 
Okay. Um, <sighs> By the way, unlike real life, walking on the road stops you from having heat stroke, which is really nice. Um, wow, I guess there was no present. Huh. All right, well, whatever. We can uh, check the bus and ride the bus into Foreside now that uh, now that we're done here. All right, time to go. Back in the AC. Yep. And to the big city, I am sure you're very excited. If Onnit and Tucson were small towns and Threed was sort of a suburb, Foresight is definitely a metropolis. Obviously, it's a lot smaller than it would be. You know, everything is scaled down in old school 90s JRPGs, but, um, yeah, there's some, there's some oh, activities we need to, to do. San Francisco. Yeah. Okay, we're doing all right. Um, okay, we're here. So, this is another area where there's a lot of activities we need to do, and I don't fully remember the order of operations, and it doesn't really matter. Um, but first, let's check out the department store. That can be the first thing we go to. So, check out the department store. I wonder why the department store is closed. Isn't that suspicious? When Monitoli... Okay, Monitoli is the mayor. I don't know if they ever... I, I don't know if someone else explains that or what, but Monitoli is the mayor. This department store began having strange happenings. Strange Temporarily closed... Strange happenings. Guard. And the spook noise. Um, so here's... Yep, there's Monitoli Towers. It's basically Trump. You boys are sneaking around looking for Mr. Monitoli, aren't you? If I catch you boys doing anything, I'll arrest you. No questions asked. Be prepared. Got it, Pyro? Ah! I've already checked out your name. Wow, you're a lot more proficient at your job than most <laughs> police officers. Yeah, well. But he's he's kind of an asshole. Hey, hint boy. Hint. I got um, a hint. Yes. Yes, you do. But I know that one operation we need to do is we have to go check out uh, the, 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 the Topoli Theater. Topola Theater. Don't you want to check out... Uh, Welcome the, to the Topola. The we have playing the works of Francis Ford Coppola. Thank you, the Akamura. All right, we had to buy a ticket for 30 bucks. Great, we have, but, you know, we, ne we need to check out the show, right? Let's see how things are going here. Boy, look at this uh, stellar amount of personality in the crowd. When Pyro arrives, the Runaway Five told me to let him in, so please come in. Okay. It's the boys! It's the boys! How are you guys doing? We're so helpless. Really helpless and hopeless. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Again, we've been cheated by the theater owner. We're stuck here with a phony contract. We owe you guys so much. Sorry. We know how to sing, but we don't know how to handle money or women. Doo wop, doo doo wop. To meet Gerald, Gerald Guard Monitoli. Geldegard. Geldegard Monitoli. You'll need our help. I don't know exactly why. It's just a hunch. Okay. Yes, I do remember that. So, all right, it's time for the show. Have I got a bombshell for you tonight, kids? Ah! Kaboom! The Runaway Five. Yeah! Three, two, one, go! It's good to see they have a different, uh, a different show here. It's a little bit more upbeat than their last one. I got super into this music when I was a kid. I don't know about you. <laughs> he missed his cue. Um... When I was a kid, I would have... I, I had a uh, mixtape, a video mixtape, I guess, of my favorite moments from video games. And so I would get to the point in a game, and I would hit the record button on a specific cassette tape to record certain scenes. And I always loved the, uh, the Runaway 5 shows, and I would have that on my mixtape. 
Is that ultra nerdy? <laughs> and now we have YouTube, and we can just look up any scene we want to whenever the hell we want. They keep missing their cues. They do. They're not... They're, they're not... They don't have very good stage presence. They might be good singers, but, uh... They need some help. I also like that the keyboardist is so bourgeois that he doesn't, uh... He doesn't stay in the dressing room with the rest of the runaway five. He's bougie. Yes, he's very bougie. He has his own private dressing room somewhere. How right. bourgeois, eh? That's... Which is what we were saying. Yes. Uh, so, you're a Runaway 5 fan, huh? What? Excuse me? Oh no! This band owes me a million bucks! If they break their contract, they're in deep doo-doo with the police. The police would probably say, hey you guys, or something like that. Unless you're able to pay a million dollars on their behalf, you'd have to find buried gold. Or you would never be able to pay such a huge sum of money. Ho ho ho! Bitch. Ho 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 ho! Bitch. Great. Alright, um... Well, luckily... Let's go find a Mr. St Saturn to stomp her with his little feeties. <laughs> well, luckily, there was that one dude back in the desert who was all like, I'll give you the gold. Wow, you look shady as hell. The Runaway Five from Tucson seem very popular. I heard the Topola Theater is always full. Even though they are... They still owe her a million dollars. Um... Alright, we're gonna huff it because if we take the bus, then the bus will take us all the way back to the drugstore. And that doesn't help us. So, can I give anyone any healing, or... Oh, we're good. Alright. Bye, Magic Butterfly. I'll just hoof it back. This is a bit of a walk, because we have to cross the bridge. I guess I should have brought a skip sandwich with me to make this a little bit less painful, but... I mean, the store is closed, so there's really nothing more to do in Foresight right now. What? Oh, store's closed. Yeah, well, the, there's a bakery that's open. Um, but yeah, the department store is closed. Which doesn't help us, because we want better gear. And stronger better baseball gear. bats. And guns and shit. Okay, let's see how, uh, let's see how the construction guy is... is getting along right now. And... this has changed. Check it out. God damn it. Stop having heat stroke. Okay. Um. Yeah. I've been watching them dig for a while. I wonder what they'll find. If they have a live broadcast from the dig, I can check out the dig while relaxing on the floor. Future. Yeah. I think he should dig somewhere else. Great. I have lots of work to do, but I can't seem to move. I'm so curious about the dig. I can't help it. Out walking in the desert must make you hungry and thirsty. What do you want? He sells... Oh, that's some decent stuff. Um, I might buy a skip sandwich once we're out of here, but we're good for now. Typical America. Everybody shows up with an opinion and somebody comes to sell you something. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, but check it out. I didn't have a problem digging until this. I found a maze. Lots of monsters appeared, so I couldn't proceed. There's five big moles. If I beat the monsters, I can continue on. I think I have a bleeding ulcer from worrying too much. I'm helpless to really do anything. Great. Well, I will take care of your problem by attacking a sentient piece of rope. This probably wouldn't fly nowadays. His name is Noose Man. That has a horrible connotation nowadays. I mean, it's always had a horrible connotation. Yes, this is true. But it's becoming more well known. Yes. Um, now, I'm glad I did this in my side run as well because this maze is a bit confusing and since I started or since I've done it already I basically know my way around um damn it that's the other problem with this one um so when I did this on my own I wound up expending all of my magic by the time I was done and I wound up leaving the entire dungeon to heal, and I hope I don't have to do that this time. But I might, depending on how bad it gets. And it's just status ailments. Like, the, nothing usually hits you very hard, but they'll poison you or flash you or do whatever, and it can be a little obnoxious. 
This is one of the stages where I made heavy use of my Nintendo Power Player's Guide for uh, for the dungeon because of how obnoxious finding everything is. It is very mazy. All right, let's give you a heal. And then we will use the double burger on you. Great. Oh, jeez. It's a lot of ducks. Yep. Do you remember the mad ducks? They were from, um... You first saw them in Brick Road's dungeon. Is this Brick Road? No, this is not Brick Road. Um... I'm glad you remember Brick Road, though. He, he does come back into play. Luckily, most of the enemies in this are pretty tame. They're just obnoxious. And, and they will follow me. What? And status ailment date. Yeah, that's the biggest thing. At least if they're attacking you, you're getting experience. Yes. Always good to have experience. Especially in this game. Um, and again, it's very well balanced. Like, if you even struggle against, say, the thirsty snakes, by the time you're done in the dungeon, they don't pose a threat. Um... You know, that's why there's not a whole lot of grinding that needs to happen. Check them out. I'm one of the masters of this hole. There are five masters in all. We are all moles, of course. I believe I am the third strongest among us. Take your best shot. Boss music. He is number three. So, this mole teaches you that sometimes bosses have a surprise. Uh, his surprise is he has a power shield, so if you do any physical attacks, the attack gets reflected and you take damage. Luckily, magic doesn't work like that, so we're just gonna... We're just gonna do a little bit of oops. I should have had Mark defend. Well, he's gonna be unhappy in a second. Um... Yeah. Okay, that wasn't too bad of a shot. Oh, it's this song. Yeah, boss music. Damn it! Stop it! That was... I was chastising myself for telling Mark to attack again. Alright, one down, four to go. And we took out the number three mole. And I got Psychic Freeze Lambda. Lambda. Hooray. IQ Capsule. That also goes to Soul. We're gonna make her smarter, and that way she has more of a mana pool to work with. Alright, so... I'm hoping I remember the best order to do this. I was trying to memorize it. This is about as far as I went in my side file where I'm like, okay, I should stop now so I don't forget the order of how to move through this dungeon. And then I just said, fuck it and kept going. And now I'm 95% through the game. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's, it's fine. Okay. So that is... Yep, that's the entrance. Okay, so I've cleared the entire northeastern loop. You are tapping your fingers to the beat. Isn't the music so good? Yes, it's very catchy. It's very catchy. Come here, thirsty snake. You jerk. And I love how even... Like, most of the animals in the game have a cute look to them. Even the thirsty coil snake... He's clearly up to something, but the way he's got the big o the big ass smile makes it look like, you know, he's slightly adorable. It's a spooter! It's a spooter. Look at that angry spooter. Except it's an ant. I'm so disappointed. Can't he do a... Oh, no. Poison. God damn it. Stop poisoning me. I hate you. Okay. Yeah, none of the enemies in this dungeon are particularly powerful. It's just they're all annoying. And they all do status ailments. So I'm glad I still have that PSI caramel. I may as well give that to Pyro. Okay. <sighs> There's a fly buzzing around and it's getting on my nerves. The the tiny one? Yes. Yeah, he's been around a while. I I First noticed him out in the kitchen, um, near our dishes, but he's been buzzing around my face, too. Yes, it's obnoxious. Yeah, I'm eager for him to go away. I don't know why, like, we've, 
we haven't had the windows open since we finally got the AC installed, so... Yeah. Maybe we should shut the windows and turn on the AC and freeze them out. That sounds painful to me. Alright. Uh... What, freezing out the flyer? Because we would be frozen. Or I would be frozen. We would be frozen. We have blankies. We do have blankies. Alright. That's it? 41 hit points? Are you kidding me? Okay. That's all you get. Yep. Okay, so we're following this trail. There's it's another, another spooter. Flipping, yep. Another uh, spooter. Uh, I'm an ant spooter. Ant spooter? I'm an ant spooter. Go down. Okay, good. I'm a sister of your mother spooter. I do remember if I have soul using freeze, it gets me through this a bit easier. All right, and another spooter. So many spooters in this place. So obnoxious. Not difficult. Definitely not difficult. But this is also a good place to get experience. The spooters yes. here give up um, about a thousand experience each. So you're generally going to gain a few levels by the time you're out of here. But we didn't on that one. All right, Soul, how damaged are you? She's pretty knocked up. 50 hit points down. Do I have a 50 hit point thing? I do not. Everything I've got is more than 50. Okay. Damn it. Spider? I mean, snake? Snack. <laughs> Spooter snack. Oh, God. That'd be horrifying. Oh, God, it would. Uh, whether it's a spider with, like, a the fangs with of a, a snake. snake body. Yeah. Or a snake with a spider uh, body. No or combination is good. Tails. No combination is good. Alright. Uh, healing beta to mark. And... Where's the... You know, there's the picnic launch. We'll give that to mark as well. Okay. Alright. So, check it out. Here's our second mole friend. I'm really the third strongest master. I'll destroy you now. Great. Are they all the third strongest? Yes. Is I'm, that the joke? I'm so glad you know you called that. Yes, they are all the third strongest. Okay. Uh, that wasn't mortal damage, but I need to get out of this as quickly as I can. I'm glad Mark was defending. That may have been a kill shot otherwise. Oh, good. Okay, we're clear. I'll just shove a pizza down Mark's throat. So are they all basically the same enemy? Yeah, or? they're all the exact same enemy. Wow. <laughs> At least they understand how averages work. <laughs> uh, that's two down. And they all have the number three thing in the background. Yeah, it's 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 funny. To me, it's funny. All right. Ridiculous. Um, have a pizza, Mark. Excellent. Okay, we got a coin of defense. That should probably go to uh, Mark. Because the Mr. Saturn coin is still better than that one, so. Okay, so now that I've done that, I can do a for sale sign and we can sell his old coin. Yep, that That is the whole purpose of the for sale sign. Because your inventory is so limited, Having the for sale sign lets you offload an item and still get the money for it without having to retire entirely from the dungeon. That's it's clever. so good. Yeah, it's super clever, right? Like, you don't have to worry about it in a game like Final Fantasy because your inventory is functionally infinite, so whatever, you know. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's good. There's a lot of cool designs in this game. I still think the rolling hit point meter is the most interesting gimmick because you just don't get that in any other game. It has never been a thing anywhere else. And as we go further, you'll see me take advantage of the rolling hit point meter more and more. Uh, calorie stick, that's good. We need healing items because things are going to get bad. But we are almost out of time for this episode. And I know I'll be able to get through the rest of this tomorrow. So hopefully y'all look forward to that, and we are going to find the gold, make everybody happy, and free the Runaway Five from their 
capitalist imprisonment. Again. <laughs> again. Thank you all very much for watching, and we will see you again tomorrow for another episode. Bye. I miss the Mr. Saturns. Aw. We'll find them again. Oh, cuties. <laughs>